Egypt's football league is indefinitely suspended after dozens were killed in a bloody pregame riot over the weekend. This comes only three years after Egyptians witnessed one of the deadliest football riots in sports history. As CCTV's Adel Mahrui reports, the shock and outrage that it's happened again. Body bag after body bag. The dead started to arrive at Cairo Central Morgue minutes after the clashes took place. What happened in the game with NP is a disaster. The fans were like thugs and the security was not up to the required standard. Why do they allow some fans to the game? They should stick to burning fans for one more year until the country stabilizes. Al Zamalek Club should have canceled the game. The president, Mutada Masu, should have gone to the scene and ended the conflict, but they didn't care about the fans. Egypt's interior ministry says over 10,000 fans clustered at the stadium gates in this corridor. Fans tried to forcefully enter and security forces dispersed them with tear gas. Most of the dead were suffocated when the crowd stampeded. Many Egyptians are holding the football authorities responsible. How can the youth be killed in this way? I don't know any of them, but I am devastated to see bloodshed. The police should protect them. I was crying all night. The authorities must take responsibility. They have stolen those kids from their mothers. We should have stuck to our standards. No audience, no matter what. Because they have repeated the Port Said massacre. The authorities must leave, the football federation and everyone responsible. They should leave and be punished because they knew the possible consequences of their actions. Al Zamalek has declared three days of mourning and postponed the scheduled introduction of its new Portuguese coach. While Egypt's prime minister has halted the Premier League indefinitely, security forces and fans have a tense relationship since the 2011 uprising in which hardened Zamalek fans, known as the Ultras, played a key role. The incident has reminded the country of Al-Ahli football rights that left 72 dead three years ago. And despite that many have condemned the death of Zamalek fans, calls for once again banning football fans are rising. To them, it's the lesser evil than cancelling the entire Premier League. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.